Recently, two people asked me pretty much the same question. Can FreeDOS support video modes above 800 by 600? I, I guess I should point out that DOS doesn't really, you know, do video modes. That's really just going through the hardware. DOS isn't like other operating systems that have, you know, what's called a hardware abstraction layer where the operating system gets in the middle between applications and the hardware. FreeDOS really just does the disks. Uh, so DOS programs typically access uh, hardware on their own. So really the question should be, how can I write programs that do video above 800 by 600. So let's uh, write a quick uh, program to do that. Now I'm going to use uh, openwatcom C for this uh, because the video modes are pretty uh, easy to uh, access. And so let's go ahead and run the OW set env and that will set up my environment. So let's go ahead and uh, go into my source directory and I'll make a new uh, directory called video and let's go into video and let's write a program that will just display uh, the color palettes at different resolutions. And so I'm going to do a, a fed on, I'll call this high res dot C. All right, so uh, we'll start with uh, include uh, standard io.h, although I don't know that I'm going to do anything that actually prints anything in standard uh, mode, but that's okay. Uh, we'll do uh, include uh, uh, conio.h because I definitely want to be able to uh, probe the keyboard for uh, getting a, a key from the keyboard. Uh, and we'll do include uh, graph.h because I'm going to be doing uh, graphics mode. Uh, and so let's find a little function here uh, called uh, palette and uh, palette will uh, take a couple of options it'll it'll take the uh, whatever the um, maximum resolution is on the uh, x coordinates and the uh, uh, maximum resolution on the y side and then uh, how many colors we have let's call that i guess max colors and so for that, I need to uh, sort of iterate through the colors, and I'm also going to create uh, overlapping uh, rectangles that'll sort of move off to the right-hand side. So I need to grab two variables here. We'll do one called color and another one called X. So uh, we're going to do a for loop where color starts at zero, and as long as color is less than the maximum number of colors, and then we'll iterate color at the end of each pass of the loop, and we'll go ahead and set the color to whatever the color is, and then we'll go ahead and immediately uh, draw a uh, rectangle. Actually, we're going to need to calculate now uh, what our uh, starting X should be. So we'll do uh, X is going to be... Uh, so if you do the math on this one, I'm just trying to move the, uh, the coordinate off to the right as I move my uh, colors off uh, or increment my colors from zero to whatever the maximum number of colors is. Uh, and so for that, I need to do a little bit of math that says uh, uh, X max... Uh, divided by the maximum number of colors. And then we're going to multiply that times whatever the color is. And now we can use that to draw a rectangle. And the rectangle will use, uh, it needs to be a filled rectangle. So remember, there's there's uh, two different ways to draw a rectangle, uh, and it really depends on what this parameter is. In this case, we're going to do G fill interior, which will give us a completely solid uh, rectangle. And we're going to start that at uh, X and zero. Now, if you remember in graphics mode, uh, it's different than when you're printing text to the screen in plain text mode, character mode. In character mode, it's it's in, uh, in row and column, uh, which is basically a Y and X coordinate starting at one, one in the upper left. That's in plain text mode. In graphics mode, uh, it start, it, it's X, Y coordinates, and they start at zero, zero in the upper left. And so here we're going to do zero or X, uh, zero. So it'll always start on the upper left hand side. And then the X will keep moving along as we iterate through the different colors. And then, uh, it will move, uh, the, the end of it will be, uh, so remember if you got like a, a 1024 resolution, it's actually, since it's starting at zero, it's actually gonna go up to 1023. So what I want the far side to be, uh, the far right corner will be uh, X max minus one, and then the uh, Y max minus one. And so that should give me a rectangle that uh, when it's zero will be uh, from the entire screen. So zero, zero, all the way up to X max minus one and Y max minus one. Uh, and then it will move the X uh, to the right hand side as we iterate through the number of colors.
And so that's our for loop. And then also after the for loop, we can uh, probably want to prompt the user if, uh, you know, when they're done so that we can sort of pause. Uh, and so I'm going to do a get ch. Now, uh, if you do get ch and you hit like a uh, like an extended key, like uh, like one of the F keys, for example, it's actually going to return zero and you need to call get ch again uh, to get the extended code. So I actually like to do this. If get ch is uh, zero, uh, then we'll just call get ch again. Why? Because I'm just clearing that that extra call if somebody actually like pressed F1 or something. Uh, and then uh, it automatically clears it with the next call to get ch. Otherwise, if it if it wasn't zero, then that was just a normal character, or a normal key on the keyboard, and then we've got our code. So this will basically pause and just wait for the user to to press any key on the keyboard. Uh, because I'm just doing a quick demo, I don't need to print any text. So now we can actually write a little uh, main program that will display these colors. And so if I do a main, uh, we'll do this as an int uh, main. And uh, let's say uh, uh, well, we want to normally just set the video mode and uh, we could do the highest resolution possible. That's uh, X res uh, 256 color. And so uh, color. And so if you look at the, the open Watcom uh, guide, uh, C library reference there on, on page, uh, 989 <laughs> for the definition of set video mode, they provide a number of, uh, modes that you can use and what the macro should be. Uh, if you're going to be doing 1024 by 768, uh, resolution with 256 colors, it's going to be X res 256 color. And if you want to do, for example, other resolutions, 800 by 600 to 256 colors, it's going to be uh, underscore SV res 256 color and so on down the line. And so here I'm going to do uh, 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 X res 256 color, and that should give me 1024 by 768 resolution at 256 uh, colors. But set video mode will actually return uh, a non-zero value if it was successful. So I'm just going to be a good little programmer and I'm going to uh, update this to actually uh, say if that call was successful, uh, then we'll actually run the palette uh, uh, function. So I'll do palette and then uh, that'll be the resolution for the X direct dimension is 1024 and then it's by 768 and it's 256 uh, colors. And that palette function is of course prompting the user to press any key when it's done drawing the palette. So I don't need to do anything at the end. All I can uh, do then at the end there is to uh, set my video mode back to the default mode and that should be me back into character mode and then I can go ahead and return back to the operating system. And so let's look at that. So we'll do a uh, file save and quit and we'll do the Watcom compiler and linker. We'll do dash Q so that way it doesn't print out quite so much. It's easier to spot errors. High res dot C and I'm not seeing any errors. So let's go ahead and run high res. And so as you can see here, it's, it's printing out all the different colors. This is the standard palette, but all 256 colors from the standard palette in 1024 by 768. So you might ask, okay, so that's when you do graphics mode at 1024 by 768. Why not, why not use this all the time? Because the programs that I write typically don't go to this resolution. So why not use this all the time? Well, it ends up being a matter of speed because you know, you're drawing a lot of stuff on the screen. And for what I'm doing, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy stuff. Uh, I'm not doing, you know, action video games or anything. So I just want to draw something on the screen and not have to, you know, wait to, to let it draw. So I actually like to, uh, use a lower resolution. Let's, let's run a couple comparisons just to kind of see what the speed is like. So uh, it's waiting for me to press the key. So there we are. Uh, so we'll do fed on our high res dot C. So we can actually just do a couple of different calls here. So, uh, we'll, after that, we'll say if the, uh, set video mode for, uh, it'll be, uh, S V res, uh, 256 color. Uh, and this was the same number of colors, but obviously a different resolution. 
So what will SV res 256 color be? Uh, that will be 800 by 600. So it's going to be uh, 800 by 600 at 256 colors. You can also try some other 256 color modes. And so we can do if set video mode on uh, V res 256 color. And that is going to uh, allow us to test the palette at uh, so V res 256 color will be 640 by 480 and 256 colors. And we can also try some other ones. We can do a if set video mode on V res, oops, not V res, uh, U res uh, 256 color. And so that is a different mode. U res is going to be 640 by 480. I'm sorry, 640 by 400. So 640 by 400, 256 colors. And we can also do one more that's even lower resolution than that. So if set video mode will be M res 256 color. And so M res will give me 320, oops, uh, palette. Uh, that'll give me 320 uh, by 200 at 256 colors. So I'm doing the same number of colors in each one of these tests. It's just a different resolution. Uh, each time it's, it's checking to see if that's successful. And if it is, it goes ahead and runs uh, the color palette. It's going to clear the screen anyway, so I don't need to worry about doing anything special to clear the screen. Uh, when the last one's done, it'll just set my video mo mode back to plain text, and it'll exit back to the operating system. So let's go ahead and save that, save and quit. And we'll do the Watcom compiler and linker. Uh, we'll do dash Q, so that way it's not quite so noisy on high res.c. And let's go ahead and run the new program. We can now compare how quickly we can paint 256 colors at each one of these resolutions. And so I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five different uh, passes of these colors. So let's do that. So we'll run high res. And so there it is at 1024 by 768. Now let's, if I hit a uh, space here, it'll actually redraw that at 800 by 600. So here we go. And so that's obviously noticeably faster. Uh, if we uh, press space again, it'll get us to 640 by 480, which is even faster. Uh, and then uh, we can do it again at 640 by 400, which is actually faster uh, yet. And then the fastest one will be 320 by 200. And that was so fast you didn't even see it. <laughs> so uh, that is the fastest that you can possibly go. Uh, and if I just hit space one more time, it'll exit back to the operating system. So you may wonder why use uh, these different resolutions. If you're not drawing anything that requires you know, a lot of curves and things like that, why not use the lower resolution? If you're going to be drawing rectangles, you're not going to see the difference anyway. You're only going to really notice those difference when you're trying to draw some sort of a curve or uh, paint a picture or something like that. Uh, and so that's just a quick demonstration of what it looks like at these different resolutions uh, with 256 colors. So what do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, before I go, I want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. I know I say it every time, but you really do. You really do make a difference on this channel. Uh, some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I want to thank you here especially uh, for that. Uh, before I go, don't forget to visit our website, join us on Facebook, follow us on Mastodon, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.